Let's see now. That's about a half a cup, maybe a little more of self rising gold metal flour. Okay. It's got to be self rising to do this. One. Now you need one tablespoon of sugar. Sugar. Now you need a little bit of canola oil a little canola oil and some milk this is two percent milk how much milk how runny and how thick you want your pancake to be let's see make them kick or you can make them can. like right now see what these blue bubbles is forming gas bubbles is forming in there you know what that's called that's called pancake batter you transform four simple household ingredients into pancake batter now this here ancient Chinese spoon holds one-fourth of a cup of liquid. So each pancake is a guana bee. One foot of a cup. Yes, sir. Let's see. Now I cooked uh, an egg earlier in old Spotty. That's Spotty. Spotty the pan. Have you ever seen Spotty the pan? Spotty the pan is the man. A little light on the subject. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See how many pancakes we can get out of it. Pour a spoonful. Like unto that. Yep. I'm gonna cook this in real time, man. But I'm gonna cut the. I'm gonna uh, see if I can figure out how to speed up stuff like they do in other videos. Haven't ever tried that yet. If anybody knows how to do it, can care to tell me? I would appreciate it because I don't know jack crap about editing well, a little bit not much what I basically do is I load my movie onto I'll take and plug this camera into the PC via the uh, USB cable it's got the small end goes in the camera big end goes into the computer and then uh, turn the camera on once you turn the camera on, the computer sees that a uh, just like if you was to stick a a uh, one of those memory sticks in it, just like that. When you turn it on, when you stick it in there, and turn the camera on, well, the computer recognizes that it's got something in there. So what you got, you give you're given a small screen, and you're given the option to read the files, or you can upload them to your computer. If you choose to upload them, you can have them erased after uploading. You got an option of that. And uh, what else? Yeah. Uh, you can, once you get the 
once you get it, the, the pictures or videos in the computer then you pull up one to seven that's what I do one to seven movie maker and then uh, it'll be two windows side by side one with the files in it from the camera and at this point you can turn the camera off unplug it because they're already in the computer don't make the mistake of trying to load the movie from the camera directly to the to the Windows Live to the movie maker uh, you're not doing nothing but screwing up if you do that anyway you can watch each video and then you can drag the ones that you like into the Windows Movie Maker and then when you get as many of them in there in the Windows Movie Maker as you like and they're all in there and all happy happy then you hit save movie and then name it and it'll take a minute to save it once it's saved you can replay it and then right in the same thing you can replay it and as you're going along if you find some dead spots like this spot that I'm doing right here might be called a dead spot you just right click and pause it stop it there right click on it and hit uh, you know uh, divide the video and then go on down till you get to another part that you want to pick the video up again and then you uh, divide it again okay and then you're left with a movie in the middle that ain't no good you just delete it that's what you do there to delete delete out the part that you don't want to be in the movie you go on down keep continuing on down listening to it and you get down to the next section you get to a part where it's just about starting off where it's going to be something stupid pause it right click on it and spread it divide it divide the video it'll tell you on there how to do it i can't think of the word it gives but. and then continue watching it on down till you pick it up where you want to pick it up again and just split the video again and then you're going to have a dead spot in the middle well you just take and right click on the dead spot and delete it you keep doing that all the way through till you get to the end of the movie then once you do all that you go back up to the top and you hit save movie again and then uh, you, uh, it, let it go ahead and save it name it and save it and then get out of the whole mess when you're leaving it's going to ask you do you want to save the file yes save the file okay name the save file name it all right then you can go over to get back online get back on that on your uh, explorer or whatever you're on and go to the youtube and then hit upload a video and then you go and find your file name write it down in there or you can, if you're fancy enough to, to figure out how to split pages, you can drag the file into the box. And then it'll load it, and then you can title it, name it, and what, let it put in the description box, whatever you want to. And, and then you want to be sure that you tag it. Now, why do, you, why do you tag the videos? Well, when you tag them, YouTube places them in the... A section like this is going to be pancakes down in the tag box you want to put pancakes and I put them I'll put homemade pancakes and then now I'll, I'll put something like uh, uh, Papa's pancakes are the best pancakes the easiest pancakes and then when the when the movie gets uh, you know when the movie gets published it'll be in the pancake section that's why you tag you don't want it to be in the who flung Johnny or who screwed Jill section. You want it to be in the pancake section. Well, if you want it to be in the pancake section, you put it. You don't allow them to figure out how to do it. You tag it for pancakes. That's how you do that. So that little bit of flour, 
let's recap what we got. We got about a half a scoop of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, we got about a tablespoon of oil, and a little bit of milk. And uh, that's breakfast. Paw Paw style breakfast. Yes, sir. In real time. So, a lot of people don't know how to edit stuff on, and you, you don't want, if you don't want to uh, get on there and read a bunch of bullshit and figure out it, just come to Paw Paw. Paw Paw will explain it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. That is coming up nice, ain't it? That's looking good. And then burnt the hell out of the other two, but guess what? This is the last one cooked, so I can sit it on top. Nobody else will see shit. So that's how you do that. J -W. Yes, sir. See? Now, you want to make sure that you cut the stove off. What I always do is I just go ahead and leave the eye empty that way because I've been known to leave the damn thing on before and made the little squealing box over there on the wall go off, but that's another story.